Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. In my previous articles about direct editing, I had inadvertently left out a name, Kubotex Key Creator. First, an admission. This is one of the products I've heard about, but never used. So when I installed and launched the software two weeks ago, I was discovering it for the first time. In other CAD programs, both parametric and direct modeling programs, you'll probably start designing a part by drawing a 2D profile to the desired specs, then extruding it to a solid. Well, you can do that in Key Creator 2, but the recommended approach is to combine primitive shapes to create the rough solid body you want, then modify it to the right height, width, or curvature that you desire. Key Creator's dimension-driven editing system is significantly different from how other systems work. By deliberately picking the left, right, or center of the dimension indicator arrows, you can direct the software to execute the changes on the left, right, or both selected faces. Let me show you with this simple block. You'll notice that I'm entering the same value each time I perform an edit. But simply by selecting different surfaces, I can get different transformation results from the same edit. Key Creator keeps separate menus for creating features and modifying them. Creating a hole, for example, requires using this menu option, and modifying it requires using this menu option. It's not advisable to remove a hole by simply selecting it and hitting delete because you could end up deleting a whole series of related faces and features. Instead, you should use the modify solid features menu and the remove option in the action tab. Now in my view, many of the commands in the create and modify menus could be consolidated, both to avoid confusion, especially for beginners like me, and to reduce mouse clicks. At the present, when working with Key Creator, you rely on menus, input boxes, to edit features. So you won't, for instance, be able to select a feature like this hole and drag it to move it, or pick a face like this one, then drag it to move it. As you might in Space Claim or Autodesk Inventive Fusion, you need to use specific steps through its menu and confirm each step to make these changes happen. But based on my recent conversations with key creators, well, creators, I have reasons to believe future versions of the software will give you more options to directly interact with your solids. For better or worse, direct editing has become synonymous with the ability to push and pull faces and features to easily edit geometry. So in cooperating a similar approach, I believe would help key creator capture a whole new customer segment. Kubotex Key Creator is a powerful piece of direct editing technology. For someone delving into it for the first time, it requires some investment in time and effort to learn its ways. But once you figure out its basic principles and the procedures, you'll start to pick up the pace in your use of it. Kubotech officials told me that they are actively seeking ways to refine the software's modeling interface to make it easier to learn and use, so I'm looking forward to its next release. I'd like to thank the readers who took the time to email me to remind me of Key Creator. Let's face it, there are more software in this industry than I can possibly keep track of on my own. So I encourage you to tell me about your favorite software. Find me on Facebook or tap me on Twitter. Or use the old-fashioned email listed in the ending slide of this video. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, learning to unlock the secrets of Key Creator.